I was invited by Camera Electronic to check out this retro style ZF Nikon. I took that opportunity, I wanted to see what it was capable of and I wanted to see what I could produce with this camera, my style of photography with this retro style camera. My name's Anton, I'm a full-time photographer in real estate. Uh, I'm from England, Manchester, actually a small town called Blackburn, quite close to Manchester in a county called Lancashire. I've been in Australia nearly 11 years. Yes, love Perth. Nice and quiet, not too busy. Uh, nice parks, quiet streets, great place to live. My photography journey started just as I got in Australia. When I got in Australia, I thought it might be a good idea to buy a camera. I bought my first camera March 2013. It was a point and shoot, a Sony Galaxy camera. Uh, it had manual mode and it had automatic. Uh, I just used the automatic mode mainly. Uh, I would shoot for a little while and then I would stop uh, because the learning process, I wasn't that interested in it. And I would pick it up again and then I would put it down. And it wasn't until 2016 when I went to Japan with my girlfriend that I decided to buy an entry level uh, Nikon camera. I didn't see myself as a travel photographer, but uh, just for fun, I, wanted, I saw some pictures online. I thought they looked great. I've always been into like uh, the art side of it. I always admire uh, the effort and the skill that goes into making a nice image. I took a couple of pictures and decided I was a terrible photographer because I knew nothing about RAW. I knew nothing about editing. And when we came back, I put the camera back down. <laughs> <laughs> then it was another three months and I goes, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn how to uh, take photos and edit properly. And it was probably March 2017 where I really started the journey on photography. I think probably uh, my journey was is longer than necessary. I think now uh, courses are more accessible, especially from photographers that you admire. You might see a photographer online and you like the work and if the chances are if they've got a big account, they've probably got a course. And so I've probably bought about three or four courses and learned people's different techniques. That was probably after about two years of trying myself. If you'd have asked me early on, it's different to now, but it's a mix of landscape, uh, street, minimalism. I don't post minimalism, um, but I was shooting minimalism for a little. My images have got, I've fused a little bit of landscape into them. I prefer to want to go into nature and shoot street at the same time. Since we're here in Hyde Park, let's walk around and see what this is capable of. Oh yes, that's beautiful. Right, so you can use you can use this as normal, or or you can go to one third, and then that'll just switch it to here. I don't know if you can see that here. Got you. <laughs> That's the good thing about this, this uh, black and white, is that you don't have to care so much about the details. So you can overexpose and uh, or underexpose, and uh, all you're going for in the black and white is uh, is contrast. That's it. person walker coming through which is the best bit here with a dog in a second that's good I think for street this is probably better you can feel each turn you know on a, on a normal camera it's a bit more fluid and sometimes you go past the setting I like that the um, the manual focus on this you've got a dial you can see a dial through the viewfinder and it's got a flower on one end and then a, an infinity loop at the other and then you, you, you can see it where your focus is.
I'm holding it because it feels good. <laughs> and it's red. And red's my favourite colour. <laughs> Even though I'm wearing blue. <laughs>